Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We continue our journey and we drove down to Waikawa Tea. We stay here overnight in a caravan site. The next morning we stroll around and explore the place. We're bound to Bluff and we pass a few cities, Dundin. Which is Dundin is the Otago's largest city and famous for its Scottish heritage and stately buildings. Next town is Gore in Invercargill. And Invercargill is the New Zealand's southernmost city, known as the city of the water and the light. And this city dates back to 1850s when the Scottish settlers of Dundin began to purchasing land. Today, the city has a strong mix of Maori and Celtic influence, and it is an ideal base for exploring far south New Zealand. We saw very cute animals. I think they're alamas. I think they're not alpaca though. They're so cute, but we cannot stay longer. Now we're here at Bluff, just 20 minutes from Invercargo. It's a small town in the home to the world famous Bluff Oyster, considered some of the best in the world. We stayed overnight and our caravan was stuck in the smooth muddy ground. Now we're driving down to Orapuki. It's a town that they found gold in the sand on the beach. It's a mining industry sort of stuff. Driving on to Melford Sound and just stunning magnificent flight scenic along the way. We stop at Homer Tunnel and in a few minutes the snow starts to fall. It's a dry snow and it's quite strong. I'm just amazed seeing snow, raindrops, so we stayed for a while and embraced my first experience touching snowflakes. According to the history, Homer Donald, in 1889, mountaineer and explorer W.H. Homer discovered the home saddle and thought it's possible to drive a tunnel through the saddle to connect the upper Holyford and Cladu Valleys and form a route from Lake Wakatipu to Malford Sound. The construction period, which spanned nearly 20 years, was halted for two periods of six months due to the weather conditions and for the nine years between 1842 and 1951 due to World War II. In the other hand, sometimes if you are a latecomer to Malford Sound, they close the gates at Holyford gates usually at 5 p.m. because of snowfalls, slippery and just bad weather condition. Homer Tunnel is a gateway to Melford Sound. It's 1,207 meters long and was driven from one and only through Rag Mountain Country, with the tunnel portal seated in the share, rock faces at the head of negotiated valleys. Now expected time to go through to the tunnel is 4 minutes and 21 seconds. <laughs> 